We'd like to thank you for giving us the opportunity to speak at the OSPOCON 2022. We'd like to introduce ourselves. My name is Kazumi Sato. I am a distinguished engineer at Sony Group Corporation. I work on Linux-based system software for various Sony products. I also work on OSS compliance and relationship with communities in Sony. Since 2002, when Sony started to use Linux, I have been leading system software development using Linux and introducing it to the products, complying with OSS licenses. I am a member of the Software Strategy Committee at Sony. My name is Hiro Fukuchi. I'm a senior RS manager in Sony. I'm working on OSS license com compliance and relationship with OSS community. I'm the leader of planning subgroup of Open Chain Japan Work Group. I'm a, also a translation volunteer for OSS related documents such as Open Chain and SPDX specification. This is today's agenda. Firstly, we explain Open Source Program Office, OSPR. Secondly, we briefly describe Sony as a conglomerate company from the viewpoint of open source activity. This part consists of two electronics and semiconductor area and brief overview of all business segments. Sadly, we explain OSPR issues in a conglomerate company. Then we explain our approach to the issues. Approach, our approach is making group OSPO and segment OSPO, and then create OSPO network. We will provide some examples. Finally, we conclude what we did on the OSPO issues. Firstly, we would like to explain about o Open Source Program Office, OSPO. From the perspective of corporate product development, open source software has many aspects. Those are license, technology, community, and culture. We need to care all aspects. Open source software has OSS licenses. Using open source software requires OSS license compliance. Open source software implements technology. We should keep watching the trend in technology. Open source software is software, of course. Security should be managed. Open source software is developed by a community. We need to watch the activity of our community carefully from the viewpoint of sustainability. Open source software has many aspects, so we need a framework for managing the use and creation of open source in a company. Open source program is this framework. Open source program consists of policy, process, training, and human resources. The Open Source Program Office, OSPO, can take the initiative to create and promote the Open Source Program. OSPO is the center of open source activity in a company. 
Here is an example of the open source program. There could be policy, organization, training, internal community, and external community relationships. Among those, policy and OSPO's initiatives are the most important. Policy governs all open source activity in a company. OSPO takes the initiative in the creation of policy and activity in a company. Next, we'd like to talk about Sony as a conglomerate company. This page is not intended to showcase the company's in business. Instead, we'd like to convey the characteristics of our conglomerate with various business segments. Sony started as a consumer electronics company. Gradually, Sony has expanded its business to various areas. Now, Sony has six business segments electronics, semiconductors, games, pictures, music, and financial services. In addition, the headquarter functions are independent. The six segments can be broadly divided into electronics and semiconductors, entertainment, and finance. The electronics and semiconductor fields include companies such as entertainment technology and services and imaging sensing solutions. Entertainment technology and services make and sell consumer devices such as cameras, TVs, and audio, as well as medical and broadcast equipment, and provide it provides cloud services. Imaging and sensing solution focuses on imaging sensors. Entertainment segment fields include game and network services, music, pictures. The finance, finance sector is financial services. They operate their business with the presence in each field. From an OSS perspective, the six segments cooperate with each other. I think the good thing about conglomerate is that they have synergies through technology mix and innovations through diversity. Let's right, look at the open source activity at Sony. The talk is divided into two parts. Firstly, we introduce open source activities in the electronics field. And secondly, we see a brief overview of the overall open source use cases built as a conglomerate company. These explanations are followed by an introduction to the, the challenges of conglomerate OSPO issues and our approaches. Open source program at electronics and semiconductor area. Sony is an embedded consumer product. These products are based on embedded Linux. There were several turning points in this history. We developed a TV and video product with embedded Linux. This is the first starting point of our OSS activity. We expanded other consumer embedded categories, then 
embedded networks expanded into professional equipment such as broadcasting and medical equipment. Then we expanded embedded nets into new categories such as Robert and others. When we expanded into other categories, we also needed to improve our open source program and internal community activities. We have thought of using the latest technologies through Embedded Linux kernel since 2000, but there are many technical challenges to using Embedded Linux in embedded products. Those are support for various architectures, use cases of unexpected unexpected power down, small memories and small storage, long-term support, for example, 10 years. This figure shows a brief history of the development of Sony's open source program. In this presentation, we divided the period into three phases. Introduction phase, early growth phase, growth phase. These phases are strongly related to the changes in the business environment. In the introduction phase, only several mass production categories used Linux and OSS. In the early growth phase, a lot of embedded products used Linux and OSS. In the growth phase, not only embedded products, but also many business categories use OSS. In the introduction phase, the Linux development team had an OSPO role. The Linux development team created a technical guideline to correct the best practice in using the Linux kernel in product development. This guideline played the role of open source policy in the first phase. The guideline was only shared among internal guide engineers of business units. In the early growth phase, to strengthen OSS promotion function, OSPO's role was allocated to the Open Source License Committee. The committee consists of legal and intellectual property staff, R&D staff, and representative of business unit. The committee had the responsibility to create and maintain the open OSS policy. Under the committee, OSPO published the official open source policy. In the growth phase, OSPO has become a dedicated team. While OSPO is still the center of open source, uh, open source license committee to expand activities for contribution and publishing as open source, OSPO has updated the open source policy. This is our open source policy. Our basic policy is to promote open source usage and contribution. In this document, the usage process and contribution process are described. For contribution, we define processes for contribution to our community, publishing software as open source and presentation at open source events. 
We'd like to talk about open source use cases at business segment in our conglomerate company. Here are the open source use cases for each segment as seen across the conglomerate. The table lists business segments vertically and use cases horizontally. The blue use case is the usage. The red use case is the contribution. We recognize the importance of OSS and use it appropriately for each business. What is unique about the OSS use is that in the electronics field, we use it in embedded system for consumer and have structured and strict processes for compliance. In the semiconductor space too, they are using it in embedded systems, but they are dealing with enterprise customers. Contributions are also made in many segments, depending on the business strategy. What is distinct about the contribution is that the electronics field has long contributed to operating systems such as the embedded Linux kernel and Android. In addition, the pictures and the game segments have contributed to OSS development tools such as ASWF, LLVM, and WebKit. Overall, Use cases vary widely across business segments. These have significant implications when considering open source programs as an OSPO. Here is a short summary of use cases. OSS use case vary widely by segment. Systems and Customers are different from embedded and cloud systems. This difference has significant compliance implications. That's because compliance with mass produced embedded system requires a strict process. Contributions are also made in many segments depending on the business strategy. In embedded field, we contribute to the embedded Linux kernel and Android. In the pictures and the games field, we contribute to ASWF, LLVM, and WebKit. Pictures segment is a founding member of ASWF. Maturity level also varies by segment. We believe this is mainly due to trend in its industry. Business are changing rapidly. For example, electronics business is expanding from embedded product to recurring services and cloud services. Next, we'd like to talk about OSPO issues in a conglomerate company. As we have explained, we are a conglomerate with complex OSS use case as a whole. Our challenge is how can we create OSPO in a conglomerate company. It is a great challenge for us to consider an OSPO for an entire conglomerate. This figure summarizes what has been explained so far. In the blue boxes on the left are OSPO and the open source program which we have been building in the electronic field. 
the green boxes on the right are the conglomerate we need to work with. This page summarizes our challenges. How can we recreate OSPO for a conglomerate company? What are OSPO's roles in a conglomerate company? Can we use the current OSPO and open source program? Central governance versus local autonomy. A single solution does not fit all. Before tackling the challenge, we identify the basics that we are implement to us. Autonomy and freedom are essential in our culture. Unification gives benefits of synergy and diversity. Compliance is important and needs to a strict semantic process. From the open source perspective, we have broken down the business segment, including headquarters, into three segments. Group headquarters, electronics and semiconductors, entertainment and finance. Group headquarters is a position to provide the open source foundation such as policies, education, etc. for the entire group. The electronics and semiconductor business area require the organized and strict compliance process for embedded products. Many contributing OSS communities are similar such as Linux, Android, and so on. They also share the same vision of expanding their business into cloud services. The entertainment and finance segment revolves around cloud service and in-house use. It is difficult from open source use case in the electronics area we have experienced. And they also have a variety of advanced experience. We have more to learn from the entertainment and finance segment. Each of them has a different use case and maturity. So we cannot discuss as a whole, but we can say that they are loosely connect networks. Organizing with the open source perspective is a big clue in thinking about our approach. This page outlines our approach. We defined two types of OSPO, Group OSPO and Segment OSPO. Group OSPO is affiliated with group headquarters and Segment OSPO is affiliated with each business segment. Then we build a network with OSPO. Group OSPO provides group-wide policies, processes, education, etc. Segment OSPO can create policies, etc. for each segment as needed. We have two different approaches depending on the characteristics of the segment. One is where group OSPO can draw on experience and the other is new to group OSPO and therefore learn from each other. In the electronics and semiconductor area, we build segment OSPO with same framework. Group OSPO supports segment OSPO based on its experience. In the entertainment and finance business area, Group OSPO established communication with existing segment OSPO and builds relationships 
to learn from each other. We can provide support for compliance use case and other issues if they need. This figure shows the relationship between the group OSPO and the segment OSPO discussed earlier. Group OSPO provides high-level design of open-source program and become hub of OSPO network. Segment OSP provides individual segment policy and processes. This diagram shows the OSPO network described earlier. There is no hierarchy between group OSPO and segment OSPO, which aims for a hub and node-like relationship in the network. We describe the role of the group OSPO. The foundation for the group is group policy, membership as group representative, such as Linux Foundation, Open Chain, etc. Strategy, training, public relation. Part of the fostering culture is internal community, internal event, newsletter. The role of segment OSPO is segment policy, segment process, compliance, contribution, Fostering capture, membership as a segment, such as Academy Software Foundation. Next, we explain our support for OSPO in the electronics and semiconductor area. Before the recent structure change, the headquarters are responsible for the entire electronics and semiconductor business. Now, with the recent reorganization, group headquarter is going to focus on the whole groups and each segment has a new headquarters feature for each segment. In the electronics and semiconductor area, there was no OSPO function so it was necessary to create a new OSPO. Two-segment OSPOs was launched with support from group OSPO. They are launching OSPO for each segment's open source use case. You can read more about the launch experience at Open Source Summit North America 2022, where our colleague Norio Kobota presented. Next, we discuss about the entertainment and finance area. The entertainment and finance area revolves around cloud service and in-house use case. It is an open source use case different from the electronics area that we have experienced and also have various advanced experiences. So there are many things we can learn. They have different use case and different degrees of maturity, and while they can't be discussed as a whole, they aim to be seen as loosely connected network. The entire group aims to climb an even higher level by learning from each other. To build the OSPO network, we are trying the following activities. The joint activity of group OSPO and segment OSPO, including hosting internal OSS events and publishing newsletters. 
activities carried out by Group OSPO, including supporting OSS license compliance and providing training programs. There are areas where the group OSPOS years of experience can be used. Segment OSPOS share best practices. In the entertainment sector with different use cases, they have gained distinctive OS experience with development tools rather than products. Picture uh, one note, the founding member of the Academy Software Foundation as part of its launch. The experience was shared with the, in the Sony group. Another example is the introduction of contributing activity, such as the picture segment contributed to OpenColorIO, OpenQ, and Open Shading Language and the game segment contributed to LLVM and WebKit, and so on. It was shared by the entire Sony group, including the electronics and semiconductor area. We'd like to talk about example of group OSPO activity. This page shows our compliance activities. We publish the open source policy and manage open source license committee and training. You can read more detail by growing open source culture inside Sony presented at OSPOCON 2021. This page is an example of an internal event. At the internal event, each segment OSPO shared best practices. This example described best practice for game to LLVM and WebKit contribution. This page is another example of an internal event called Open Source Day. Rob Bredo of IL&M was invited to the event as an outsider expert. In fact, he is a former Sony Picture Entertainment employee who explained two sides of Sony's open source use case and the industry's open source use case. On the right is Tim Bart of Sony Electronics. He currently serves as one of the board director of the Linux Foundation. He described the open source community explicitly using the Linux community as an example. These events are organized in partnership with Segment OSPO. We will explain the open source newsletter. The purpose of the newsletter is to observe open source trend. Group OSPO, Segment OSPO, and community experts collaborate to write newsletters. Open source newsletters have been issued every quarter. It is characterized by its legibility and multifaceted view of OSS. For example, we look at open source organizations, open source project, open source events, open source index, Sony's open source activities, and Sony's community expert report. Finally, Conclusion Our challenge has just started. Our approach is two type of OSPO and creating OSPO network. Two type of OSPO is group OSPO and segment OSPO. Creating OSPO network is by 
collaboration and sharing contribution best practices. As collaboration, we make internal event and newsletters. Sharing contribution best practices is uh, SWF by pictures, LLVM and WebKit by game network services. In the future, we will share updates and discuss in OSPO communities. This is all for my presentation. Thank you very much for your kind attention.